everybody worries that it's a long time to be away from your family and, and off the planet. Um, how do you feel about it? Well, it is a long time, and it's something that, that part of it I am not looking forward to. But I'm not the only person, I'm not the first astronaut to have left to leave children and a spouse, and I'm not the first person in other careers. We have military families that every day are leaving their families to go to places that I wouldn't want to go, and they have to leave their children behind, and sometimes they don't know how long it's going to be. We know it's going to be a six-month time on Space Station. A lot of these people don't know how long it will be they don't know the outcome of their trip. And so, so it's, it's certainly not heroic for me to be leaving my family. People do it all the time. And um, I think it's something that a lot of families um, deal with um, and have ways of dealing with it. And we just um, deal with it the same way. It's still not fun, but it, it's comforting to know that I'm not the only person in the world that is, is suffering with this. So. It, it's bothersome, you know, nobody wants to leave their child for that long. But I know that time will go quickly, and I'll be back before you know it. And, um, and he's going to do great here. He'll do great with his dad. It'll be great bonding for them, if nothing else. But, but it is hard. And I, I'm actually, it's nice that there are others that have done it that I can look to to say, what did you do? How did, how did it work for you? And I know it's possible, and I know it won't be the end of the world. But I'm not going to lie and say it's not, it's not a hard thing to think about. So will you be able to communicate with your family when you're up there? I will. The IP phone, as long as we have the uh, KU band antenna coverage, um, I'm hoping that every day, I don't know if that's unrealistic or not, but every day, call, call to my husband at least. And um, whether or not my three-year-old will be interested in talking voice on a phone, you know, maybe saying hello, mommy. And, um, but he may or may not be interested in, in talking on the phone. And then once a week, of course, we'll have the video conferences. and, and uh, as, as long as my, my husband has a mobile, a mobile um, laptop or iPad where he can <laughs> chase around because I don't, I don't think my son will sit in front of a computer <laughs> to talk to me, but, but um, so there's, there's communication. What kinds of things do you think you'd show him, like on those video conferences? I, I really want to show him floating, things floating, me floating. Um, I think he'd get a kick out of it. I've thought about, you know, videotaping myself eating lunch, <laughs> looking out the window, singing him, you are my sunshine, what, you know, the things that I would do if I were there and the things he would interact with me with while, while we're together. And so, so if I can find an efficient method of getting a video done every day, every other day, however many times, whatever makes sense at the time once I get there, and then, uh, downlink them and, and get them to him. I think I think he would really like that. And it would it would make me feel good too. And it's a nice keepsake then when the mission is done.